Hi, and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. I'm JP Mustanza. Now, a lot of the stories all over the world have been talking about the Panama Papers, where a lot of documents over 40 years worth have been disclosed and have shown a lot of offshore accounts all over the world. Now here in Thailand, Bangkok officials are actually looking into many of the Thais who have been tied up into the Panama Papers. Let's take a look at the rest of the top five. And Thailand's got a new problem, Red Bulls. Prime Minister Prayut chan is directing police to see whether giving out Red Bulls bearing well wishes from ousted PM Thaksin Shinawat is illegal. The PM's directives comes just a day after 30 soldiers confiscated nearly 9,000 Red Bulls in a raid of a former politician's home in Nan Province on Saturday. The Red Bulls bear the signature of the ousted Prime Minister ahead of the Songkran holiday. Police are still investigating what happened after three people were killed and 27 others were hurt when a train hit a double-decker bus at a railroad crossing in Nakhon Patom yesterday. Footage of the crash shows the bus making a slow turn onto the tracks just seconds before the train collides with it. The driver of the bus died instantly. Investigators are suspecting that he wasn't able to hear the train's horns because of loud music being played at the time. Plans are being made to combat forest encroachment and tree clearing in Koh Nakanoi, an island off of Phuket. The Department of Special Investigation is seeking an order from the Prime Minister to use Section 44 to prohibit tree clearing on the small island. The move comes after a Thai TV actor said armed men were hired to clear a protected forest near his family's property on the island. Phuket's newest road project, the Tepsi Sin Bridge on the outskirts of Phuket town, is finally open this week as officials say they have more in store for the new road. During the official dedication ceremony on Wednesday, Thailand Transport Minister said the new bridge will have the light rail running across it in the future, though that project is still a long ways away. The new bridge near Phuket town traverses protected mangroves and connects Sakti Det Road in Widget to Ratanakosin 200P Road in Phuket town and took over two years to complete at a cost of over 176 million baht. The effects of the massive leak of offshore financial accounts, dubbed the Panama Papers, have hit Thailand as the anti-money laundering office is seeking information regarding 21 Thai nationals reportedly included in a list of people worldwide involved in money laundering and tax evasion. The massive leak cites 780 names of individuals in Thailand and another 50 companies based in the kingdom, though Thai regulators are asking for information on only 21 nationals who have allegedly carried out illicit acts. The leak is the biggest in history with over 40 years worth of documents from the Panama-based law firm Mossack Fonseca released this week. Wow, those are some great stories that we've been covering here on Phuket Extra. Catch us on Monday for the latest edition of Phuket Extra. We'll see you then. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Swadikap. We are ready to provide international medical service with Warm Thai Hospitality. Call us at 1719.